one owner car guy and what I got here for you today is not a one owner car. This is one that I've had around a while. We used it a bit around the lot and such and it just said and I got it. It's just not exactly up to the code of what I sell. Oh, it's a great running nice 3800 Brome model Cutlass Cruiser. Um, I'm just going to wholesale it out and get it gone. I was considering parting it. I do so many of these wagons that a lot of the unique parts on it were nice and needed. But it got a little damaged at the auction and got scraped a couple places. And so basically I ended up not going to do what I was going to do with it in the beginning. So, with all that said, I'm going to give you this once around. And then I'm going to go up close and show you any flaws, minor damage and such on it. Take you for a test drive. We'll go downstairs and look at the interior. And um, that's that. What you got here is a great low mile Cutlass Cruiser. I love these 3100, 3800, and 2800 motors. They always are just the great, easy to maintain, and cheap to work on cars. And parts are just plentiful on them. You can get them just anywhere. Um, the wagons, very, very cool. To find them clean and well taken care of is getting hard to do. This one inside is just beautiful. The outside, you got some scuffs and dings and such and dents and I'll show you everything. That's that. I'm going to go around and show you up close now. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. My website is www.oneownercarguy.com. Somebody calling to buy that thing right now. I just gave my number. They called. Probably not. I gotta upload the video first. But this car is cheap. If you're looking for a deal on a good set of wheels for your college kid or your grandma or your dad or your mom or you, this is it. Call me up and I'm gonna go ahead and start the overview here. Glass is beautiful on it, by the way. A couple little place where he kinda probably Stuff something or something? Yeah, he probably stuffed right there. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I've ever sneezed in a video yet, but there might be another one coming. Right here. I'm missing a piece of trim. And he scuffed up against there and messed this piece up. Uh, this was done at the auction and a piece of trim. So, that's the worst of the body damage. There is a scuff in the front that I wanted to show you, and this piece of trim here is bent. Kind of popped off the clip there. We're missing that one going around the wheel well. This one. The double trim is there. Missing a hubcap. And that's about it. The vinyl foul wood, faux foul, fake wood is in great shape. Little bitty scuff here. That windshade thing is still there. Keep the dust off your, your arse. Um, nothing rusted out around the screw holes. All this is in great shape. Um, trying to think of anything else on this side. Chip it's there. Crack in that lens, that light cover or bezel surround or whatever you want to call it. I'm missing that front wheel logo. This one isn't cracked. A couple chips and a scrape right here. This piece is loose. Like I say, this is a good transportation car, but you got some scuffs and dings around it. This piece of wheel trim is in great condition. Got all the other hubcaps. Tires. Good tread, but a little worn on the edges. I would just replace them. Um, I can get a used set for 180 and I wouldn't be going down the road and using these tires too much. This has got titties all over the side and stuff. Good tread on it and everything. You might want to replace as needed and just do the front ones. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the other side when I get around it. This piece of trim right there you can see. Rocker panels are in great shape down there. They're chrome. Cutlass Cruiser. Fixing the pure flow filter next door. 
had to figure out what they're doing. The guy just walking in here, I'm not open. Okay, that's the once around, twice around type thing. Now I'll do a test drive around the corner and show you how she runs out. Stuff's right here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get down here now. I'll show you underneath. It's very clean underneath. Come on. There we go. It takes a second, but it's worth it to show you this stuff. Okay, do it again. Show you the tranny pan here. It's in great shape. I'm sure you got a damp gasket or something somewhere, and you get a drip here or there, I'm sure. But it's not a gonna leave you a puddle or nothing. That was a good running car. Ooh, dingy inset there. You got a power steering leak from one of the power steering lines. It's your metal line that wraps around the front piece. And this is all in good shape. You got a little patina where the um, paint chipped off of it from rocks or stuff. But the tow people wrapped this stuff and like I say the auction messed it up. And that line is you know not a not a hard part to find or nothing but it definitely needs to be repaired. And you can see the pan under there and such. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in and you know you're missing the little international logo that goes underneath that custom cruiser thing and I just noticed it. I don't know if the other side has it. Chrome strip in the middle is cool. The other side's missing both. Um, so that is your once around, your twice around. And now we're gonna do the Around the block around. Nathan, 406 544 6919. You can reach me anytime. Make sure and check out my channel. I've got lots of one and two owner clean, unique cars. This is not my normal inventory. The stuff I've got is usually clean, classic, Euro, nice one and two owner cars. This one is not exactly as nice as my other cars, but it's cheap. And it's the body and the type of car I sell, and it's the top of the trim level for it. So, whatever. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. You can see about 60 pictures of it and such. And with that, we're going to go around the block and I'll do a test drive with you. And then we'll go downstairs to where you can actually see the interior without the sun shadows on it and such. 106. 841. Missing the end of that, by the way. 3800. I absolutely love these motors. See that piece in the wheel? Or don't see that piece in the wheel? I guess however you want to say that. Okay, this is gonna be hard. I'm gonna set this down until I get out of here. And it's not the hardest turner without the power steering, but it's not that easy either. Now I can wrap it around my hand and get going once the traffic goes by here. And you see you're missing a piece there and here. Upshifts, downshifts beautifully, as you just seen there. Um, I love these 3800s and these smaller body Sierra type wagons. I have a problem calling them Buicks. I don't know why, I always call them Buick. We'll go down this way, down there. It gets up and goes, man. They, that's why I like the 3800, I think. And that line, it just, you don't, if you put the fluid in there, it'll all leak out, which isn't what you're looking for, I'm sure. And I wasn't looking for all over my lot. And it's just the kind of thing where I'm selling it cheap and I'm disclosing what's wrong with it to where you can fix a couple things and I don't have to send a guy to buy it. Have the guy put it on. Oops, maybe it's the wrong part and he has to go back. Basically, everything I do adds a buck to it. And that's not what I'm looking to do. Okay, we're gonna set it down here, show you the insides and all that. Should work good just anywhere, huh? Run into the pole because I got a little bit of 
extra turn in to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and back it up just a bit. Tack on the dash, baby. Let's start seeing options. Now, you got a Ford radio. Yes, sir. -y. A Ford radio. Why have you got a Ford radio? I don't know. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Uh, could be a fuse. I haven't checked on nothing about it. I do have some receipts here on the car. Um, easy lube, 50 bucks. Excuse me, it's kind of toasty. Support import, 286, paid 249. Electrical cool repair, labor, rebuild alternator. Gotcha. I have to open this door here. Um, other receipts, let's see here. 250, water pump, O2 sensor, install a plug, six plugs. <coughs> Excuse me. Another oil change. California Chevron. Repair, replace front brake pads. Remove, replace two rear wheel cylinders and brake shoes. Bleed system. Check and top all fluids, replace air filter. 353. I don't have all the records for it, I'm sure, but 59, trans service. Wow, he even serviced everything. And you can tell because the car does run good. Remove and replace rack and pinion. That's adjustment 434 on that one. 35 on a smog test. 39 on a smog test. And that is it. What kind of an ad in here? Huh. Well, that's all that. Oh, no it's not. No, it is not. And I'll have to straighten that out later. It's hard to do it and make you wait. This AC is cool. It is not as cold as it should be. And you are going to need a can of Walmart in her. I'm going to leave this on and... <laughs> And never can guess the right ones there. Back works. This back works. This side works. And this side works. You need to back out here? Okay. Sounds nice. Okay. All this, you know, this one, this um, ashtray, it's a little loose, and if you pull on it too hard, I'm going to do this correctly and put this down to where I don't mess up the angle of the dangle. Well, this is a brand new camera, and it'll still overheat on me. Um, like I said, the AC is cool, not ice cold. This is good under there. The latch works. I went through the receipts with you. I'm gonna set them right. I'm gonna set them right there for now. You got the original old holder and the original manual, the Cutlass Sierra Cutlass Cruiser manual. Door panels and everything are in great shape. The car is in great shape. Um, I'm gonna take these and set them on the roof, actually. Beforehand. Now the shows you that button. Shows you the windows. Dash is in great shape. This piece had a couple little pieces of paper to like wedge that piece in there, and I did not um, leave them in there. I took them out. So that'll be your choice. The housing is missing around that. It's supposed to make it look like that. You can add it if you want. The mirror adjustment knob is missing. Now the door panel is in great shape. Everything looks great. Let me get out and show you the interior now. Pedals don't have a lot of wear or nothing. They're in great shape. Your floor mat's in great shape, and your kick panel there is in great shape. I don't know what that is. Oh, a little piece of plastic. It's in great shape. And this here, the seats are awesome. Your headliner is falling down just a little bit. Not just a little bit. 
it needs to be replaced. Now I can get that replaced if you want. This thing just gets into the type of thing where I don't want to put a whole bunch in it and make it unaffordable for what it is. Um, carpets are in great shape. Backs of the seats are in great shape. I'm going to have to move here, I'm sure, in a minute. And, but I am going to finish my interior shots beforehand. All your door panels are in beautiful shape. I think I popped this from the back, but which one did I? Oh, I popped the gate and not the glass. I popped the glass for a second. Now that wasn't my door opener. That's a different door. They're calling me up front. Third row seats. Stick the kids back here, stick grandpa back here, whoever you want. It's definitely set up for using. Now the struts, they seem good. It seems to hold it. Them are notorious for getting weak over time. I'm missing the badge on this side, but I actually have the badge on that side. So, I don't know what them guys are saying in the background because I don't speak that language. So, um, I'll try to get away before I pick up something naughty. Oops. Rip that out of my hand there. I'm going to go ahead and pop both of these down. There's that. And that's with the seat up. I probably should. I'm loosening this for you. There's a jack, by the way. Wow, that locks too. Locking storage. Pretty cool. You can see we didn't hit the whole vacuum up. My details leave a lot to be desired, but I love a clean interior and a low mile car. That's just all there is to it. All your door panels. I'll get right there right now. I'm getting their way. Here. We're gonna be right now just a little second longer. I might have to set this on the hood here. Actually get it open. I'll be out of your way right now, man. Okay, cool. That's up. So there you go. Now you can see the motor. 3800 sequential fuel injection V6. Man, this is when they really started putting these good uh, top ends on these and everything. And these 3800s are something else. They are the, the 350 of V6s, I guess you'd say. Super powerful. Ooh, nice interstate battery. Just nice, nice cars. And these things, they're cheap to work on. Your hood liner and hood insulation is in great shape. A couple places where it's fallen down. Just super clean car on the motor type parts and on the um, interior. It's just really nice. Um, that little rubber seal there around that's worn on that mount. You know, a guy can replace that at some point. I'm sure if you get on it, you hear a little click click or something. Click clunk or something. Okay, around the neck and get this bad boy down. That is it. My name is Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And other than that, give me a call. My website, www.oneownercarguy.com. Lots of good, classic, unique Euro muscle and just good cars on there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Call me with any questions. 406-544-6919. I think I showed you everything on this car. I got my books on top there. Yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Over 700 of them on here. Make sure and subscribe. You can see a little indention right there where he scraped that front piece that I missed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night.